Hi, this is Mark from Hammerhead Industries. A little information about tool attachments. So we make several different varieties of our tool attachments. They all cinch around the tool, and then we use a tape to tape it on there so it doesn't slide off. But the cinched tool attachments what holds everything. We do them in five pound, 10 pound, and 15 pound versions. With the five pound units, one of them has a swivel in it, so you can use it for pliers and screwdrivers and such so that it doesn't wind up your tool tether. We also do the same thing for a 15 pound attachment so it doesn't wind anything up if you're using a tool. Big thing is you gotta, if you have a 10 pound tool, you cannot use a five pound rated attachment. Probably if you've got a 10 pound tool, use the 15 pound. If you have a nine pound tool, use the 10 pound. So use the correct tool attachment for the correct weight of the tool. Hi, this is Mark from Hammerhead Industries talking about tool safety. We put an attachment on this two pound tool, so we need to use a five pound tool attachment. And what we need to make sure is that we then go to the correct weighted retractor. I, I cannot take a two pound tool, put a five pound attachment to it, and then put it on a one pound tool retractor. Hi, this is Mark from Hammerhead Industries, here to talk about uh, putting attachment points on your tools that you already have. So, we have a little cinching tether, we have a tool needed to put them together. So, in this instance, we take it, this goes through and cinches around the tool. This will actually, having it cinch, actually holds the tool onto the tool. But what we don't want is we don't want this to get bumped or wiggled around and fall off or anything like that. So what we do is we use a self-fusing silicon tape. It's reinforced with fiberglass. Real simple to use. We could get that cinched around the tool. We take off some of our tape here. What you want to do. Now this tape fuses to itself. It doesn't actually stick to the tool. So the first wrap can be a little tough because you gotta it's not since it's not sticking to the tool, it'll keep wiggling on you. But once you attach it to itself, there we go. Now we've made an attachment point on our tool. This clips into a tool tether of some type. cinches and it's not going to wiggle, not going to fall off. We're going to do an attachment point on the screwdriver this time. Okay, so we've cinched around the shaft of the screwdriver. Now what we want to do, we're going to take a little bit of our tape, our self filling silicon ring. Stretch it. Now the whole reason we're doing this is to keep, again, just to keep it from falling off. And by taping it near the back, it allows the swivel to work when you're using the screwdriver so you don't get it wound up. So now we're going to do uh, a pair of pliers, a little different attachment, but same. Again, all of our tethers cinch around the tool. In this case, Cut away the plastic because you don't want to attach to little vinyl, plastic, whatever the handle, that little handle is made of. So we cut that away. So we're attaching directly to the steel of the tool. So that nothing can slide off. Can we go around right there? In this case, we're going to do tape in two spots. We're going to tape tool tether or the tool attachment onto the pair of pliers again. Then we're going to tape it up here so that again the swivel works.
the swivel working. So when we attach it to our tool tether, if we rotate it, because we're spinning something, twisting some wire, we're, we're not spinning up the tool tether. All right, we're gonna do another tool. This one is a, is a hammer. If this was all a straight shaft on here, so and you're worried that, hey, we don't really don't have anything to go against because this might slide on there. So what we do can do first, you can create a little block on here by taking the tape and just putting tape on here. Okay, so now we have something that when we put the, the tool attachment on, Now this runs into that. Now we take a second piece. We create a little stop block there with the first one. Second piece. Keep the tool, keep our attachment to the tool.